He killed me. He wanna fucking make kill him. He wanna fuck him. Hey, bro. I had to get a new one. But now we can actually watch it. You feel me? Ah! Ah! W made no fucking chat, nigga. Oh yeah, say hi to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. Hey YouTube. Hey Susan. Hey Susan. All right, come on. And I'm a virgin. And I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. And I'm a virgin. That nigga definitely a virgin. The nigga in the stripes. Remind me that one nigga that couldn't play basketball in my, my fucking gym class, man. Like, how do you not know how to dribble a fucking basketball? Why are you virgins? I grew up like Christian, so well, my mom was the main one that was like, make sure you wait, make sure you wait, and so. I don't know, it kind of stuck with me. Uh, for me, I grew up religious like you, but I'm 20 now, so even for the past three years, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the religious aspect anymore, I'm just bad with women. Keep it Damn. real, I'm Muslim. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, how bad is it that you can't get bitches? So you go on a fucking, fucking t not even a TV show, you go on a YouTube channel on how bad you don't get bitches. Like, that's just, like, that's so bad. That's so bad. Like, you said, the, like, other people making up lies, saying, like, oh, yeah, I'm Christian, I'm Muslim, I'm Hebrew. But then you got, other, like, you just got other niggas just being straight up, oh, yeah, I just can't bag a bitch. Like, it just make, it makes no sense, bro. It makes no sense. For me, it's like, why not just wait and do it through the Sharia, do it through the Dean? Because, you know, it's not worth going to hellfire for me. So for me, it's kind of a lot of reasons. One, I was a super late bloomer. I only felt sexual attraction for the first time, like, four years ago. Looking like bro, I do, you, women usually aren't, like, bursting yeah, to get nigga, down you look like this, a little pet, so bro. Like, nigga, you look like you got a little life. shit, yeah, too. It's, it's not a priority right now. Okay. Yo, chat, chat, chat. Tell me why Tell me why somebody yesterday in chat, no, on Saturday, somebody texted in chat saying, I know it's bubblegum pink, bro. I swear to God, and it was fucking crazy. Like, who says Does that? Does know about sexual transmutation? No. Essentially, the desire you have to have sex is a very strong desire. Especially if you're a man, put it into the work. Put it into the gym. Watch what will happen. You will hit every goal. So that's kind of my reason. Uh, yeah. I, like, I hear what you're saying, but like, you saying like, put my horniness inside of a fucking bar, bro? I don't... So you basically telling me to put my dick through a pole. Like, what are you telling me, bro? Bodies as a living sacrifice, which is a good and reasonable, reasonable, I'm underlining, reasonable service. It's a gift that I want to give to my future wife. How old is everyone here, by the way? 22. 20. 22. 23. 26. I'm 32. Damn! Dude, respect to you. Yo, 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 this nigga's 32. He has not got no pussy. You will live your life. Bro, you usually lose your virginity around 16, 17. You was 32. You was twice the age. You know you had a double it, nigga. Like, you like you twice the age you supposed to be of losing your V-card. You are 32 years old and you have no experience in the bed. Nigga, your dick is probably trash. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just. All right, all right let's go. All right, all right, all right, all right, suck it. Three, two. And you ain't never... Wait, let's talk about that, though. Because if you are not... But married, that's crazy, though. You're 32, 32 years old and you have not fucked out right? one nigga? Yeah, but my God, he not one me. nigga? I, I, I not, whoa, whoa, not, not whoa, pause, pause. I'm sorry, I'm 32, I did not mean it. I'm just yeah. gonna keep it. <laughs> it seemed like he wanted to present the extreme of his religion. It's because he's black. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Tell us how you felt. Oh, it was black. Black. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm gonna ask you. Like, you're yeah. 32. How does that go? How does it go? It goes. It goes rough. I mean, my body is ready. I want that. I want to be married. Actually, hold up, pause. Hold up, pause. I gotta fix the quality. Word of my future wife. Have you been in those opportunities where, like, maybe I could have had many opportunities, but I keep myself away from those types of things. Has everybody dated before or have you guys had significant others? I, I've only had one girlfriend, so. Yeah, I mean, Yo, chat, one. I'll tell you this, I'm putting this in face game. I can tell you this right now, I have never ever one, I have dated a woman in my life, but at least I fucked. I have never dated a woman because all women are weird. 
they tell you what you what they want, but when you give it to them, is a problem. It makes no it makes no sense. But it's like a good majority of women is like that. Not saying every woman, just saying a good majority of women. And at least I fucked. Like I don't want a relationship. And if there's all the people out there, there's people they don't want a relationship, but they just want to have it. That's okay. People be making you think like, oh, people be making you think like, oh yeah, that's that's weird. Oh yeah, like you just a fuck boy or you just a fuck nigga. It's not. Some women are like that too. They don't want to date. They don't want to really talk like that. They just want the, like the one simple and hit it and quit it. That's just it. You feel me? That's just it. That's just it. Like, like come on, bro. You you just gotta like you feel me. You gotta think your mind through. Like, and to all them quiet ass niggas out there, go get a bitch. I've had two. Uh, I've had a handful. Damn, Damn that going crazy. I really had an official boyfriend, okay. but like I had seen like two people, yes. So I'll go out like on dates and whatnot, but nothing really official. And have you guys kissed or? Kissed, yeah, yes. Yeah, so. Nothing beyond the. Uh... Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. One of my long, uh, relations was entirely long distance. She was in Portugal the whole time. Yeah, this nigga's so, one like, of them. Really nigga be doing e sex. Well. Bro, this nigga be doing e sex, bro. Be like, come on, babe, I'm getting freaky tonight. She be like, oh my god, stop. While on the fucking Zoom call. Hey, yo, like, come on, like, like, I'm just like, you feel me? Like, just whip it out. Like, I'm just, I'm like, I'm like, just pop one. Like, come on. That's him. That's Matt. That's Matt. She gonna be like, oh my god, fine. And he gonna be like, he gonna be like, he gonna be like, he gonna be like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Bro, next day you gonna see this nigga laptop. That shit gonna be smashed like my other one. I swear. You guys ever fell in love before? For sure. Okay. Really? Even though you never dated anybody? Yeah, for sure. Or... I'm, I'm a very passionate person. When I was younger, um, Boom, obviously you have, like, those high school crushes and whatnot. I don't want to flex or anything, but my car outside, I bought it by myself. It's like mm. 120K. I opened my own company, and that's all because I've stayed focused and not let myself become a part of, you know, like what's going on in society. I have a question for you in the last five seconds. I, I feel like a lot of people accomplish a lot of things while still having sex and you just make time for it or you can just like fap and forget about it like yeah, yeah. but when they when they do engage huh. in that type of stuff they go through a heartbreak they could be successful but they have to have like this battle before all that happened he kept talking about like his mindset and grind set and it reminded me of like american psycho <laughs> and that guy nigga what you that mad that this nigga's more focused and he's basically a six-figure nigga and you not you that mad that he put his sexual like he put his like Fucking hormones through a damn pole, got jacked, and now he's a like eight figure nigga, and he makes six figures a month. Like you, like what are you talking about, bro? Damn, y'all niggas on his dick. Y'all niggas on his dick. Y'all lose all on his dick. Oh my god. I thought I'd be eliminated uh, right away, but I've had naked woman climb on top of me, and I I still say no. And then the <laughs> next day, I go submit three loans and make like ten thousand dollars. Interesting. Mm. Cool. Um, <laughs> do you think the Nigga said interesting. The cool. Um, <laughs> to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. Wow. Oh, Yo, I'm actually not gonna lie. I'm starting to get that unk haircut, bro. Hey, fucking you. So, Alex, I think that you made a mistake, and you're here rather to promote that virginity till marriage would have been the better option. I've definitely been in the situations where. I mean, so, how y'all niggas gonna vote out the last two niggas that actually had something going? But like they were like the other one, was, he was religious, and you say he was too religious, so that's the reason why you kicked him out. The other nigga you kicked him out because he was just too flashy, and he was too sun on y'all niggas. And then basically, you're not gonna kick out the last nigga that's basically 36 years fucking old, bro. That nigga is 36 years old. That nigga has not touched a poom poom, and he's been break, being his dick, getting scabs on it for about at least. 16 and let's say like men usually don't start doing that shit until like they like 11 12 so what's the name he's 32 that is 20 years of being a dick bro you don't like you don't want the poom poom you gotta be scared are you gay it's okay to be gay it's okay to be home uh, or whatever the fuck how the song go you know how how spongebob be you know how spongebob be look he be like this you know how spongebob be yeah, Squidward. Oh shit. Yeah, Squidward. Rainbow. Head ass nigga. Like, bro, come on, bro. Like, you gotta, you gotta, like, bro, you are 32 years old. And you not have 
Not one body under your yo. Bro. Don't go lie on your dick, please don't. And, and there are definitely worse scenarios that we could have uh, gone farther than that. This is gonna sound bad, but I'm just too scared of my mom to be like, hey, I had sex. <laughs> but you Yeah, that nigga's a pussy. Only that nigga's a bitch. That nigga's a bitch. Your mom. Yo, child. Yo, boy. That was when um, I really started uh, diving into the Bible and, and reading more into it and, and kind of creating it for my own. And so. What uh, denomination is your church? Oh, but, I don't know which denomination but, it is, but uh, okay. we're Christians. This beat. Okay, I'll say okay, that. okay. But. <laughs> he didn't know what his denomination was. Like, I feel like every religious person knows what their denomination is. He definitely cares about his religion way more than I do, and I know that my denomination, like the back of my hand, okay, here. tell anyone that I'm a virgin is definitely something I really keep under wraps. Nigga, we know you're a virgin, bro. Oh, hey. A lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> yeah, he and you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you wanna make it out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You wanna make it out? <laughs> I said you wanna make out, fuck ass nigga. I said you wanna fucking make out. Do you wanna fucking make out? Do you wanna fuck him? <laughs> Watch out. Because I feel very like embarrassed and ashamed of it, like I've failed somehow. Once when I was in college, I was in this creative writing class, and the teacher mm -hmm. declared upon us, your next assignment is to tell the true story of your first kiss. And I was like, oh, God. And then she followed up with, I know you've all had it. And it was like, oh, double God. <laughs> I do, yes, admit that I feel pressured to have sex because everyone else is talking about yeah. the guy, the girl. And I'm like, okay, I'm just like, what the F, you know? Like, <laughs> well, I've been in band my whole life starting in middle school and i'm still in my college marching band it's actually kind of uncommon when you say oh yeah i'm not a virgin they'll be like they'll kind of look at you like you play clarinet and you've had sex <laughs> uh, <laughs> growing up i played football my whole life and so that was a very big deal especially at the high school i went to i would okay. say definitely at that time i felt the i could tell all these niggas are losers like I, like it's not it's not bad about that it's not bad about that like one of them saying that he played clarinet other ones said, like, if you a band kid, I'm sorry to say this, like, bro, if you're a band kid, you are a loser. Like, you just, you are, you are. Like, I have not met not one cool-ass person that gets bitches, has money, and does everything that a nigga, that a regular nigga does as a band kid. Because it's like, y'all niggas, like, band kids is always, like, the kids that really have no social life or the kids that's really just, like, fucking weird. Like, like... Ew, bro. Who do you never seen that one popular nigga or one irrelevant nigga do band, bro? If you a part of band club, you are a loser. They go crazy though. We not gonna lie, they go crazy. Like, like they just playing band, do 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 do. Feel me? Like the thing is like swinging the baton in the air, catching it, playing the flute, the band, boom, boom, boom. Like it's fire, but y'all niggas just some fucking losers. It's like it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay to be a loser for band kids. I'm sorry. But all right, come on. Pressure of just society saying like, dude, you haven't had sex, just go for it. It's easy. I would rather wait. I'd rather wait. That's me. I'm not good, so. Bo Bo Aaron. I just felt like what Aaron said was really smart and it felt like a big CSI moment. So I was like, oh, he definitely got him. That's it. Damn. 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 Uh Bummer, bummer, bummer. I wish I had like a virgin card I could show you guys. <laughs> if you think the mole is still in the box and you wish to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. I'm just super curious why you two, I guess, didn't want to continue. Because I think it was Alex. Yeah. I think we are virgins. Yeah, I thought that what you said during the last round was super smart. It felt like a big CSI moment. So it's like, uh, oh, if you're wrong. Bro, I like, swear to God, I swear to God, if you don't kick out this 30 year old man, first off, and second off, I swear to God, my nigga, if I end up and know that this man, if I end up and know that this man is actually not a virgin, I'm throwing my fucking, my fucking chair on my bed, bro. I'm throwing my, I, I can't throw it at the wall because, nigga, I got thin walls. I'm not trying to break a, a brick a wall. I'll throw my chair at my, at my bed, bro. 
I'll throw my share in my bed, I swear to God. Definitely had the vibe of like a band kid who hasn't done it yet, which I can say because I used to be a band kid. What'd you who... play? Every band kid's a loser! I play trombone. Oh, cool, yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah, but so you guys oh, yeah. think so, there's yeah. still a... Yeah, well, yeah. here's the thing, Aaron, I think it's you. And, and respectfully, damn. respectfully. Sure, sure. I think it's because you're imposing what you are onto what Alex was. And that's maybe what you did. And I'm thinking that you're, mm, what's it it's called? Not. One more thing is just that because of, you know, your age and everything, I don't yes. think age is, that's it okay. should matter. That's okay. It's hard to believe, um, yes. Do you, I guess, like, what was your longest relationship? About a year, a little over a year. And then was there times where she wanted to, like, escalate it? Because I know you're, you know. I've only dated Christian right. women. Right. And okay. So they've also wanted to maintain a oh. certain level of purity. Okay. Damn. Four, three, two, Ominous. one. Gotcha, bitch. It just no, seemed like he wasn't no. as confident as Aaron. he was in the previous round. So I was like, okay, he gotta go. Uh huh. Uh huh. If you think the mole's still in the box and you wish to continue playing, please raise your hand. If the lights turn green. That means you have voted the mole out and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box. I swear to God, if it's this nigga Matt, bro. Matt, bro. Meditate, bro. Come on. What? It's you, huh? No. It's you. You, you weren't no, surprised. You no, weren't surprised. It's you. you weren't surprised. No, you looked right at us. No. You weren't surprised. On the count of three, can the mole please step out? One, two, three. What up, y'all? No fucking way! <laughs> he good. No fucking way, no fucking way, this fucking loser is a fucking not a virgin. He's a fucking loser. Only bitch he probably fuck was an 18 year old. He is 22. Well chat, a deal's a deal bro. Gotta do it. Wish me luck for not getting yelled at. Like most of what I said was true. Those those per personal stories, they were from before I, you know, did the honky donk. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> I trusted him. I was like, oh, you play trombone, I play clarinet, we're good. Wait, so when did you have sex then? Um, like eight times with, or <laughs> not eight times, with eight different people. The big thing, the most important thing that I will I have no words. You're telling me this nigga gotta. You know what? I'm not. I have no words. The only thing I'm going to say. <coughs> Sick dick. <coughs> Fuck dog. Sick dick. HIV Magnum. HIV Magnet. Fuck boy. Yo, chat. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you like my content, there's another video right here just like it. And another video right here on the other side that I do other content like, well, you see. And gotta go. Bye.